Hey everyone, Flame Guild here, back with another monk guide for the season 24 of Diablo 3. Obviously, as we're progressing through the season, we're getting stronger, different builds are shining through, our previous guides, you know, aren't up to date. My last water ally guide was me doing Greater Rift 90 speeds and using essentially the same build with a couple of differences, as you'll see. I'm now doing 115s uh, in under three minutes. Anyway, just a quick guide. I'll show you guys my build, my skills, uh, and obviously there's just going to be footage of me running in the background. So starting off with my gear, obviously we're using the Inner's six-piece set. We actually have five pieces equipped with a Ring of Royal in the cube. We also have two pieces of Ore Guilds equipped. I've also opted for a Focus Restraint as my rings and a Squirt's Necklace, of course, as my amulet. We have the Crudus Boots and Ingium in the main hand because it has more weapon DPS than my Bartox. And on the Bartox, I have a Flying Dragon passive and a Harmony passive. Now, in the cube, I have a Furnace for my weapon, just for the extra elite damage, Bindings of Lesser Gods, just for the extra Mystic Ally damage, and, as I said, a Ring of Royal. As for my gems, we're running with an Enforcer. As this is primarily a pet build, we need as much pet damage as possible. I also have a Bane of the Trapped, as we are constantly CCing enemies. And I also have a Bane of the Powerful, just for the extra damage. In terms of stats, I've opted obviously to max out my crit hit damage and chance. I've also got cold skills on my amulet and my braces. And I also have mystic ally damage where it can be rolled. In terms of skills, nothing much changes with the inner's builds, uh, pushing or speeding. So we have way of the hundred fists with the assimilation rune. Cyclone strike with the implosion. Obviously we are running mystic ally with the water ally rune. We have Dashing Strike for Mobility uh, with the Blinding Speed rune for Toughness. Epiphany with the Desert Shroud rune, again for some extra toughness. And Serenity Ascension. Now, this Serenity is going to be really important in not only survivability, but also just helping us maintain our Squirts buff. As although it's not essential to have it up all the time, the more uptime you have on your Squirts buff, obviously the faster you'll clear things, because you'll just be doing straight up more damage. And in my passive skills, I've opted for Momentum. Seize the Initiative, Beacon of Yatar, and Relentless Assault. As I said, my Ethereal also has a Harmony passive. The passive on your Ethereal is not really a big deal. Uh, hopefully it's not completely useless, but you know, there's not much you can do about that. Now in terms of gameplay, as you first enter the Rift, your allies are just going to be regular allies. They're not going to be waves yet. So you want to find the first mobs, dash into them, use your Serenity so that your Squirts doesn't fall off immediately. Attack a couple of times, spawn a couple of extra water allies, then activate them, and then you're good to go. Basically, the rest of the rift is just you dashing into things, cyclone striking them together, and your allies will kill them all. Make sure you keep your epiphany up for the extra toughness. Serenity, whenever you can, basically on cooldown. And you only ever need to activate your mystic ally again once you notice you don't have any waves crashing around. Once they've just turned back into regular allies, then you can activate it again, and it'll change them back into the waves. But that's it, guys. It's pretty easy. It's a fun build. It's super, super quick. It's got fantastic AoE damage. If you did want to use this in a group setting, obviously this is just a solo guide. Uh, if you did want to use this as a trash clearer, for instance, in uh, some group play, I would recommend changing a passive skill out for Unity, as it does increase your own damage and will increase everybody else's damage in the group. So that's it, guys. Let me know if you liked the build. I know I'm having a lot of fun just speeding around on this thing. It's uh, it's super quick. It's very visually pleasing. And more importantly, it's less dizzying than playing a, uh, a Dreadlands Demon Hunter. If you did enjoy the video, and I hope you did, uh, please remember to like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. I will just basically be posting some D3 content, some D2 content, obviously with uh, Resurrected coming back up. And whenever we decide to get Diablo 4, um, yeah, loads of Diablo 4 content. I'm also streaming over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash flamegrilled. I'll leave the link in the description below. If you have any questions or just general comments or anything, feel free to comment down below. I do reply to everybody's comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy looting, and I'll see you guys in the next video.